Hello, what's going on guys? This is from the range and today I've got some news for you. On the 2nd of May 2011, Osama Bin Laden has been killed. Stay tuned for the video. Thank you. Osama Bin Laden, the world's most wanted terrorist, uh, killed outside a mansion in Abbottabad, about 120 kilometers uh, from uh, Pakistan's uh, capital, Islamabad. And uh, US President Barack Obama also confirming that uh, Osama was killed in a firefight uh, conducted by the CIA in Islamabad, about 120 kilometers of Islamabad. Tonight, tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda, and a terrorist who's responsible for the murder of thousands of innocent men, women, and children. And so shortly after taking office, I directed Leon Panetta, the director of the CIA, to make the killing or capture of bin Laden the top priority of our war against al-Qaeda, even as we continued our broader efforts to disrupt, dismantle, and defeat his network. Then, last August, after years of painstaking work by our intelligence community, I was briefed on a possible lead to bin Laden. It was far from certain, and it took many months to run this thread to ground. I met repeatedly with my national security team as we developed more information about the possibility that we had located bin Laden hiding within a compound deep inside Pakistan. And finally, last week, I determined that we had enough intelligence to take action and authorized an operation to get Osama bin Laden and bring him to justice. Today, at my direction, the United States launched a targeted operation against that compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan. A small team of Americans carried out the operation with extraordinary courage and capability. No Americans were harmed. They took care to avoid civilian casualties. After a firefight, they killed Osama bin Laden and took custody of his body. Osama bin Laden, sought by security services since before the attacks of 9-11-2001, has dominated global consciousness ever since. Born in Saudi Arabia in 1957, he was the son of a prominent businessman of colossal wealth. At age 14, Osama inherited more than $300 million. Journalist Hassan Ibrahim knew bin Laden as a schoolboy. The 1998 bombings of U.S. embassies in Tanzania and Kenya, which killed more than 200 people, first put bin Laden on the most wanted list. Two years later, al-Qaeda was blamed for the bombing of the USS Cole, an American destroyer in the Yemeni port of Aden. Seventeen American servicemen died. But it was the attacks of September 11, 2001, that gained him the greatest notoriety. The hijacking of four passenger planes and the destruction of the Twin Towers in New York saw nearly 3,000 people killed. Laden's central belief was that Sharia Islamic law is the only way to bring peace and stability to the Muslim world. All other ideologies, he believed, needed to be fought against, using violent means, even if that resulted in the death of women and children. There have been dozens of tapes purporting to be from Osama bin Laden or his associates since 9-11. Over time, he visibly aged. Once spry, he was later seen walking with a stick, giving rise to speculation about his health. From his role in the fight against okay. Soviet troops in Afghanistan... Okay, you've seen the news, you've heard what's going on. How do you guys feel about that, guys? Do you think this is the end of it or the beginning of it? Personally, I think it's the beginning. Let me in the comments below and tell me your opinion. Thanks very much, guys, and as always, have a great day.